My name is Mabon Ap Gwynfor. I'm the Plaid Cymru, the Party of Wales candidate, and I'm standing in Clwyd South. Health is obviously one of the biggest problems facing North Wales. Uh, I've been campaigning for improved health services for the last four years, starting off with fighting the Llangollen Hospital closure and the maternity unit closure in, in the Myla later on. We know of these problems, we've known of them for 10 years that there's been problems around recruiting doctors, um, uh, middle grade doctors for maternity services for instance. So we know that we need to recruit more doctors, that's why Plaid Cymru, the Party of Wales, have said we would recruit a thousand extra doctors across Wales, 200 for North Wales, over a 10 year period, because it's not going to happen overnight, and 5,000 extra nurses, um, and half of those nurses would be community based as well. First of all, it's worth emphasising that education should be free um, at the point of delivery. I was a student union uh, president many years ago and I fought against the tuition fees when they were introduced by the Labour government. Uh, sadly, because of the grant given to the Assembly government in Cardiff, it's unsustainable to fund everything as we would like them. So we've got to look at innovative ways of funding uh, students. What we would do is allow students to go and study anywhere they want. Uh, that could be here in Wales, it could be in England, it could be in Paris or anywhere. But the fees that they would have to pay, we would refund those fees up to uh, £6,000 a year um, so that if they come back to uh, work in Wales, we would refund those fees and they would also then contribute to the economy and they would help improve uh, our communities in North Wales. Education has been under the cosh. Um, the schools, we've got some fantastic schools and we've got teachers second to none, you know, fantastic teachers as well. And they do their hardest in a very difficult climate. Now, the problem I think that teachers are, are finding, and I'm a, a governor in this school, is the bureaucracy. They can't teach as much as they want to teach. They haven't got, got, they don't have that free hand to teach. So we'd like to release them to go back to do more of the teaching, more of what they've trained to do, instead of all the bureaucratic work that they're finding that they have to do at the moment. I mentioned earlier that I've been campaigning for four years on health services. That's what I do. Uh, I fight for my community, I fight for the people that live around me in, in uh, Corwen and in the Dee Valley and in North Wales. That's what I do, that's what I would continue to do if elected as an Assembly member. People know that if they get me, I'm willing to stand up for what they need. It's not that different. Um, when I knock the doors in uh, Clwyd South, across the Dee Valley to the urban areas of Wrexham, the one thing that comes up time and again is that there's a difference between North Wales and South Wales. It seems that uh, the government, the Labour government in Cardiff, are promoting and putting all their eggs into the South Wales basket at the expense of North Wales. We know that we've got 22% of the population in North Wales, but we only receive 17% of the funding. So the one thing that I would do straight away is argue to get a fair funding formula for North Wales and that any, any large funding development in one part of Wales would have to be matched by funding development here in North Wales as well. We think, and I think, that all powers should be devolved at some point to Wales. I've got complete confidence in the people of Wales. I think we're as good as anybody else to run our own affairs. And people are starting to realise that now. You know, when you look at the way that the government in London uh, is running, you know, all their different health services, for instance, policing, we could do so much better here because we know the problems facing our communities. So ultimately, and at some point, I'd like to see the people of Wales uh, look after their own futures. Why? 
I think it should be devolved to local authorities because uh, I'm a believer in devolution of powers down to the closest level possible to the individual. I think local authorities know best uh, what's in the interests of their businesses and the, the consequence of that would be devolving it down to the local authority level. Well, one problem we've got at the moment is that large infrastructure projects, um, we've got companies here in North Wales that can't bid for them. We've seen large schools being built and construction firms in North Wales can't bid for them. So we'd like to see a change in procurement policy so that local firms can bid for contracts, public contracts, um, and make it easier for them to bid for that. That's why Plaid Cymru would allow 75% of public contracts to be bid and won by local com uh, companies. That's a difficult question because I get along uh, with all the other candidates. I know a few of them um, and I stood against a few of them in the past. Th they're good people um, and I sincerely believe that they've gone into politics for the right reasons. Um, I'd just say that I've campaigned for the last four or five years on health issues locally um, and people know that that's what they're going to get with me. So if they want someone who's willing to stand up and uh, fight and be their voice in Cardiff and uh, fight for more resources to North East Wales, then I I'm the one. Uh, Plaid Cymru government. <laughs> there's, there's no way. If we start talking about coalitions, people are going to say, oh, look, you're, you're talking behind our backs. There's no point us voting. Let's be honest. We are putting a manifesto forward for people to vote on that. Hopefully people will decide that Plaid Cymru, the party of Wales, is the choice for them. After May the 5th, if we are in government, then great, we can enact on those policies. If we can't form a majority, then who knows, we're going to have to have discussions. But I can't say now who we're going to talk to or about what, because it's unfair on the electorate. That's an interesting question, because when I knock the doors and walk the streets and talk to people, I meet people of all ages, some of whom you think they shouldn't be allowed to vote. Some of the things people say are absolutely stupid. But everybody in that respect, if you're an adult, you're allowed to vote and you should be because you have a stake in society. So at 16, you can pay taxes, you can join the armed forces, you can get married. So you should, if you're going out to the workplace at 16, then you should be allowed to vote. <sighs> Regarding uh, drinking, well, People are allowed to drink at home responsibly. So in a licensed uh, premises, then there might be a debate to be had about whether someone should be allowed to drink in licensed premises because it's licensed. I haven't thought that fully through. I'd be interested to hearing other people's views on it, but I'm not against the idea. <sighs> Depends who that would be with. I'd never, ever consider going into coalition with UKIP, for instance, um, because their policies and their politics are anathema to me. I, I don't like the way that they're scaremongering. Um, now, there are parts of other parties, they, they put policies forward, which I agree with. So, you know, we'll, we'll see what happens. But at the moment, I want people to look at our manifest and say, Plaid Cymru, the party of Wales, is the party for me.